does against Ricky Ortiz. <laughs> Just kidding. Hey, Ricky Ortiz versus Ramin right now. Again, with okay. different characters. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, I'm expecting to see a little bit of a struggle. <laughs> Name's wrong. There oh, no, oh, there they are. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh my god, wow, I look back over. So 10 seconds in and we get to see stun. And this match can end within 20 seconds. And it does. Wow! I can't say anything, that was just, wow. Uh, uh, Amali? <laughs> uh, second perfect of the night we've now seen here on stream. And, you know what? Nice DP. Now Ryu doesn't really have a real punish oh. for that. Unless he blocks Sandy. Exactly. I I'm still so bored by the first round. I haven't even just the second round. Okay. The core makes up for. Oh my god. That's it. Um, I'm thinking you're right about your prediction here. I think an LPN's gonna take this. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that, that's why I said it. <laughs> well, I mean, no, no blame on RG. He's, it's a combination of him being predictable for a player like LPN. And LPN's played him so many times. And the second thing is the lack of character matchup mm -hmm. experience. Oh. Okay, you know what? Here we go. He has to control his game if Ryu wants to win this matchup. He's got to. He's got to do something this round. He doesn't do something this round. He's going to be just so behind in the meta. That doesn't matter even if he wins. Hey, look at this. Ryu was a half bar life lead. So, but still, losing on the Okazemi, which is really where LPN's been winning. Nice. Blocked okay. by LPN. LPN's trying to use that empty jump using the EX Knives. Because he's mixed executed there. I don't know why you do that if you get a full punish off the crouching medium, but. Oh, uh, not sure why I didn't go for the full combo there. Could have done a lot more, but probably execution. There. Wow, it's just, there's a little bit of matchup knowledge we're seeing that uh, he doesn't have. Going for focus there, this game blown up. That standing fish is really negative, and you did nothing about it. And that, and that again, lack of character matchup experience. He just seems to be having a hard time with the block tree. Just not really knowing when he could take his own pressure back, when he could back dash or whatever to get out of pressure and do something. Wait, for you guys watching, if you guys end up playing in a tournament and you end up in a match you don't know and you're getting mauled, this is what you do. You learn the matchup. Play as much defense as you can to grab as much information as you can. And if you're on stream, go home and watch a lot and then read the frame data. Exactly. That's, that's how you would want to do that. I've, I've played a lot of matches where I knew it, I didn't know the matchup, so I'd go home or I'd, I'd play the match, defend as much as I can to see everything that that player would do and then learn everything about then it. Then go into train mode and put these exact same setups on yourself. Okay, when he did this, what happened? What was the frame data? How do yeah. I block that? Guess TP. Gets, what other options did he have? Exactly, you know? And this helps you understand, like, the, the decision making for the other player, too. So it's, it's a combination of understanding the game and understanding how a player makes decisions. Exactly. And that's how you want to base your game around, by understanding the player decisions.